doing recalibration here with the camera. It's come to my attention from watching fellow vloggers that I've never uh, did a, anything on my ride. So I'm going to write that today. So for those of you that don't know, um, I ride a 2008 Street Glide. I used to have a 2006 Super Glide, Dyna Super Glide, and I transferred up to the uh, the cruiser after doing a couple of interstate trips. And as always happens, once I've got the cruiser, I haven't been on any more trips since. But hopefully, 2020 will rectify that. So let's have a look at the bike. Some of the mods that I've done, um, just to let you know, the mods that I've done have been out of necessity. Um, I'm six foot seven tall, which is just under two meters in the metric scale. So I take a bit of maneuvering to get on these bikes. So there's a lot of work and additions that need to happen for my comfort and sanity. So let's start at the front and work our way through. I've put the dough maker light on. I don't think it's a dough maker, but it's a late model light. Also the front driving lights and indicators. I've got them out of the States. They're a zero product. You know what they say, be seen, be seen. Myself. I'll just give you a bit of a look at it first. And as you can hear through the helmet noise, it is fairly loud with those drop pipes on the side. And there I've answered home. Apparently this has had a lot of engine work done to it prior to me getting it. This is very high compression and it causes me much angst on starting some days and chews through the batteries because it's got no decompression. Um, so for my length I have put the extended foot pegs on which means I need to put the extended brake pedals on. Um, I've got the highway pegs up as well. Um, I've put the tall boy seat on just to give me another inch and a half. I still go with a little bit longer so I'll keep an eye open for somebody to come onto those. I put the top box on again, the idea of touring. That's just a quick on, quick off, so it seems to stay there because with this camera gear I tend to cart it everywhere. Um, tall boy bars, I should have gone the whole hog and put the hangers on, but you live and you learn. Also put on the Zero 3D phone mount for touring. I've got it set up here as if I was going touring and I've hardwired the Zumo Garmin waterproof GPS on there as well. That's pretty much what I've, I've had to put mirrors on because when I put the tall bars on um, I can't see the rivers and mirrors for the mountains if you see them in behind there can't see them from my arms and shoulders so at the back I've also put the 3D0 uh, indicators on the rear so got the Glock Clockworks windscreen and the 11 inch one which is an absolute marvel for tall people so I uh, definitely recommend getting one of those. Look away while I 
with the combination. Oh, well, we can figure that. A GoPro mount hidden in the back. Okay, folks, here it is. A box of the liquid gold. And I'll tell you what, so it sits down there. Oh, not quite. Not quite getting two in there, guys. And I reckon at a pinch, you could get two cartons in if you lop some in some of those panniers. You'd squeeze that in. So, two friends and foes want to go for a ride and want to take some beers, you better let me know and I'll uh, might be able to officiate with the beer in the back of the Tourer. Just for a bit of fun and games. We adjust that up a little bit. Let's have a look and see what I carry in my panniers. Let's check it out. So this is off the cuff. So I'm not sure what's in here. I've got a rough idea, but it could be anything. So let's uh, have a quick look. This is going to take some room. So, as you can see, there's a fair bit of stuff in there. So, we've got uh, a micro tower. You never know when you need to wipe some stuff off your bike. A Davison type of gauge. It's a necessity. Sunscreen. Always needed down here in Tassie. Just, we've just got no ozone layer here. Um, so this is how I store my cables and my GPS. So they're in a fishing reel bag, in a plastic bag, keep them dry and clean and dust and vermin proof. Hopefully. Um, a receipt. Is that one? Super cheap order. What did I buy? Some light bulbs for you. There we go. That can probably go in the bin. Um, this is why I can never find a chamois. Because they're both in the, uh, in the bag. And in the space. There with me, folks. So we've got a. Oh, this is the jump starter kit, torch, uh, power backup, emergency thing again, packed up in a Shimano fishing reel bag, ideal for this sort of stuff, keeps it nice and padded and protected. Stuff up here. Well, probably need to be a bit more, probably that sunscreen. Not in those bags, yeah. Um, more micro fiber tabs. High vis jacket. Uh, that's for corner marking and stuff on rides, I guess. Uh, a helmet lock. So if I want to lose my helmet for any period of time, I can lock it onto the bike. First aid kit. Uh, hopefully, never ever need to use. stem extension because sometimes it's just we can we get that so I can focus okay. sometimes it's just a pain in the ass I mean a pain in the bottom doesn't want to focus there it is um, on those baggers to get access to pump up your tires so there's a little extension piece that goes on with the server Make my life a little bit easier. 
Um, I'm not sure why there's two screwdrivers in there. And a shop cloth. So that's what's in that side. Then, um, what have we got? Flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. Basically, a tool bag. Which hopefully, again, security folks, trust no one with your bike gear. <laughs> so, uh, a look away while I hit the combination. Back. So apparently when you ride a hard you need lots of tools I tell you. So there's a few bits and pieces in there. Uh, there's the, the pump. This has got a rear suspension on so that's the pump that pumps that up. There's a little valve just in there behind the seat. I don't know if you can see it. Just here. I'll screw that on pump that up or down depending on what you want and of course if you can't fix your bike with some 100 mile an hour tape and some duct tape and some cable ties it uh, it needs to go to the shop it needs to go to the shop and get fixed so sorted cable ties and they should burn the tool bag too so there you go folks that's what I keep in my Oh, I guess I should um, say the top box as well, and that's all storage. I'm not sure that oh, there's too much in there today because I emptied it. Oh, check this out. Formation. How cool is that? How cool is that? I don't know how much of that or any of it. Okay. Back to what I was doing. The story of all bloggers should know very well. Um, GoPro mounts. So that's an extra GoPro mount that I sometimes put on the handlebars to um, get a little bit of extra vision from different angles. Perhaps on the top there. Okay, that's going to focus. And it's just got the I go to jaw. Is it going to focus or not? Oh, no. Just screw that up. Tightens up. And any bit of gear that you need to mount that on. So, you can put a fair bit of stuff in there, so you need to be mindful of your weight distribution. So, that's what I keep in my panniers. And if I was to go on for a ride, I'd probably throw a bottle of water, a couple of bottles of water in. Cheers. I'll see you next time. Stay safe on the roads. If you like the content, please subscribe. Hit the bell icon also so you get to... Oi, I'm in and out of focus here. Something shocking. My grey beard's bouncing off the sun. <laughs> Shit. Um, hit the bell icon so you get notified of my... Vlogs. Trying to get out of the sun now. There we go. I'm sneaking here. That's better. And um, give us a thumbs up if you like the content. If you don't like the content, give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Cheers.